With a name inspired by the sun's reflection off their first bicycle, Sunbeam began selling cars in 1901. Success in Grand Prix and land speed record competitions brought them international recognition. The twin-engine 1,000 horsepower became the first car to exceed 200 miles per hour, driven by Sir Henry Segrave in 1927. Sunbeam later returned to motorsport, winning rallies in the 1950s. This led to the development of the Alpine models. In the early 60s, Sunbeam's West Coast manager wanted to emulate the business success of the Shelby Cobra. He contacted Shelby to create a prototype by installing a Ford V8 into an Alpine. The wide engine barely fit into the tiny chassis. After doubling the Alpine's original power, it was given the name Tiger from an old speed record car. Thousands of Tigers sold between 1964 and 67, far more than the Cobra. Subaru began introducing original and unique cars in 1958, beginning with the fuel-efficient 360 model. More than just city cars, Subaru produced the futuristic XT and SVX coupes, as well as the Brat light truck. In a stroke of genius, the Brat's rear-facing seats exempted it from harsh anti-truck tariffs. The Subaru legacy proved that it could be both a refined mid-size car and compete in motorsports. In 1989, a legacy RS set the 100,000-kilometer world endurance speed record and followed it up by winning Rally New Zealand in 1993. Succeeding the legacy in rally competition was the Impreza, which went on to win several World Rally Championships. Other Subaru models have set world speed records for their class, including the Justy Hatchback and Forester SUV. No matter the model, a Subaru surprises with sportiness.
Toyota has grown from a humble textile factory in the 1920s to become one of the largest companies in the world. They are so big in Japan, in fact, that a city near the factory was renamed Toyota City. The two top-selling cars in the world, the Corolla and the Camry, are both Toyotas. The Corolla alone has sold over 39 million models. Parked end to end, they would circle the globe four times. They may be known for their popular, dependable cars, but Toyota also has a history of success in motorsport. Toyota has been active in many forms of racing, including the World Rally Championship, NASCAR, and Formula One. Their drivers have captured four WRC titles, and the Camry has won 74 NASCAR races in six seasons. Alfa Romeo created what some consider to be the most beautiful cars of all time. Despite their high-end appearance, though, these cars are surprisingly attainable. Alfa Romeo was a dominant force in the early days of auto racing, winning the first automobile world championship and first Formula One race along the way. They also were early innovators of variable valve timing, fuel injection, and double overhead cam engines, bringing racing pedigree into production streetcars. Alfa Romeo, however, is famous for one thing, beauty. Even Henry Ford once admitted, when I see an Alfa Romeo go by, I tip my hat. Racing enthusiasts have often said you cannot be a true petrol head until you've owned an Alfa Romeo, but their popularity goes beyond car experts. The special edition Alfa Romeo Spider will always have a special place in pop culture history, appearing prominently in the classic 1967 film, The Graduate.
International Motorsports Association Grand Touring, or IMSA GT, was a race series debuting in 1971. It featured Group 1, 2, 3, and 4 cars competing in categories separated by engine size. Regardless of class, they were all extreme machines. After an initial dominance by Porsche, the AAGT category was created to give American makes a fighting chance. The regulations were generous. The car could be built from scratch except for the windshield, rear window, and roof. The Chevrolet Monza became immediately competitive, and further regulation changes created an even playing field for manufacturers from around the world. Mazda brought outstanding power-to-weight ratio with their RX-7, while the Audi 90 was essentially a Group B rally car with a different carbon fiber body. Later cars followed the tradition, like a 300ZX with large twin turbos that generated over 800 horsepower. Developed specifically for the Grand American Road Racing Association Sport Car Series, Daytona prototypes are built to bring competitive prototype racing to privateer teams. Named after the main event in the race series, Daytona prototypes were mostly modified Le Mans prototype cars. While the Le Mans circuit could handle the kind of speed these cars put down, racing the 24 hours of Daytona meant unsafe speeds and runaway costs. In 2003, new regulations created a new type of race car. Constructors could choose a chassis and engine combination, but would not be able to develop their car during the season. What you brought is what you raced with. Engines can be modified and are based on production models from major manufacturers. The result is unique, relatively low-cost privateer racing with extreme speeds and close competition.
The Pontiac brand began in 1926 as General Motors' companion to the Oakland. They established their classic Arrowhead logo in 1957 that remained in use over 50 years later. Pontiac utilized the vast parts catalog of GM while creating inexpensive cars. But in 1964, executive John DeLorean offered the mid-size Tempest with a large engine option, a 389 cubic inch V8. He called it the GTO, and he is often credited as inspiring the muscle car era of the 1960s and 70s. With the success of these muscle cars, Pontiac established itself as the performance division of GM. With the slogan, we make driving excitement, Pontiac expanded to create cars that were considered risks in keeping with this young, aggressive brand. GM discontinued the Pontiac name in 2010, but for over 80 years, the rebel of GM had made a huge impact in the automotive world.